The process of calculating the experience modification factor is complex, but the underlying theory and purpose of the formula is straightforward. Your company's actual losses are compared to its expected losses by industry type. The formula incorporates factors that account for a company size, unexpected large losses, and the difference between loss frequency and the loss severity to achieve a balance between fairness and accountability. The XMOD is calculated using loss and payroll data for an experience rating period. The experience rating period typically includes data from three policy years, excluding the most recent policy completed year. For example, for a mod factor calculated on January 1st, 2020, data would be used for the January 1st, 2016 to January 1st, 2019 policy terms. The data for the January 1st, 2019 to 2020 term would be excluded. Expected loss ratios are provided by the WCRB and are usually updated on an annual basis. These figures are also broken down into expected primary losses and expected excess losses. Rates outside of California are produced by the National Council on Compensation Insurance or, in some cases, other state-specific bureaus. The expected loss rate reflects the anticipated average cost of benefits per $100 of payroll for a classification during the experience period. Expected loss ratios are subject to changes yearly. The expected loss rates can be found in the filings and plan section of the WCRB website. The actual workers' comp loss data is separated into primary and excess pools. Primary losses, which are the first $7,000 of every loss prior to 2017, measure frequency. Excess losses, which are the amounts more than $7,000, measure severity. Note that after 2017, this equation increased in complexity. We go over it more in our video on workers' comp primary and excess split points. The formula penalizes loss frequency by including all loss amounts in the calculation. The reason for this is that these types of claims can be controlled through proactive loss control programs. Large losses are capped at levels that can vary each year. This minimizes the impact that any single claim can have on your premium. Expected losses are then calculated using your payroll data per class code and applying the expected loss ratio. To figure out how your losses stack up, the final XMOD calculation compares your primary and excess loss figures to those expected of a company of the same size and industry type. Please contact us with further questions on this or any other risk management topic. We'll see you again soon.